Rock and Roll Geek Show 698. Still rocking after all these years. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. This is it, the show that started it all. Often imitated, but never equal. From San Francisco, USA, online since 2004, it's the one and only Rock and Roll Geek Show. With the original Rock and Roll Geek, Michael Butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Friday, June 3rd, 2016, when I'm recording this show, and it's 7.49 p.m. Let me, take a, let me finish off this Tecate. I think I might already be finished. Ah, last little bit of backwash. Ugh. <clears throat> you know what they say? The last sip of the beer is always the best. All right. It's been a long time since I've done a show. And if it wasn't for Adam Turetsky, Turetsky for saving my show, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be doing a show. Now I'd be doing shows on my iPad with boss jock. That would be my new podcast setup. But Adam Turetsky was so generous. He sent me a Mac pro desktop computer just like the one that died and it's back up and running friends thank you so much adam tresky saved the show Uh, pardon me i'm already burping up this fine tecate it's nice to be back did a mad at dad last night i have to warn you i am extremely tired i've been burning the candle at both ends and it's catching up to me at my age but there's just not enough hours in the day but i'm here doing a podcast and it's nice i cannot think of a better way to spend my friday night than to be drinking some beers playing some music with you my friends of the rock and roll geek show speaking of that i'm gonna grab another beer out of the cooler a lot's happened since uh, the last show got the computer uh went to up to eureka went fishing with my good friend chiaki had a good time why don't we just start into some music? Let me open up this beer. Ah, got some audio comments to play. I'm thinking about doing a track by track of the new Punky Meadows album called Fallen Angel. Uh, somebody sent it to me, and I uh, can't remember who did, but I will. I will uh, figure it out and. and let you know. But I really appreciate you sending it, whoever you did. <clears throat> I will find the name. Lots of good reviews for that album, so I'm anxious to hear my own review to see if it's the same. But let's start off with some brand new music from one of my favorite bands of all time, Foghat. Foghat used to be my actually absolute favorite band when I was in, let's see, 1976. When did Full for the City come out? Probably 76, 77, I think, 76. Back when I was dating a Lodi Johns. Full for the City, Slow Ride, Full for the City, uh, I don't think, I don't think, I uh, just want to make love to you was on that album, great album, I've been a fan of theirs for a long time, I saw them at the Alameda County Fair last year, was it last year, yeah, I think it was last year, they were absolutely fantastic, Craig McGregor, one of my favorite bass players, he is, uh, he has cancer, and I'm hoping he makes it through. He's on this album. The album is gonna, is called Under the Influence. It comes out June 4th, 2016. I have a request in to interview Charlie Hunt, who used to play with Ted Nugent on Weekend Warriors and, and State of Shock. It'd be really nice to talk to Charlie Hunt. I tried to get Craig McGregor to come on the show. He wouldn't come on. <laughs> Maybe Charlie Hunt won't either. I could talk to Roger Earl. I don't know if I want to talk to Roger Earl because I got a feeling he won't be that nice to me. I don't know why, but that's, I just have that feeling. Anyway, here is brand new Fog Hat. The album's called Under the Influence. Not out yet. This song is called Hot Mama. <laughs> Atlanta 
There you go. Brand new Fog Hats. Under the Influence is the name of the album. That was called Hot Mama. Charlie Hunt on vocals, formerly of Ted Nugent. He played on, like I just said, he played on Weekend Warriors and he was on State of Shock. Good performer, good singer, and he had a good look. And he's great in Fog Hat. He's the, he's the, he's no Lonesome Dave, but he's the next best thing. Great band. Ugh. All right. Why don't we thank some people who donated to the show? Let me see if I can find some background music. Oh, Ingve Malmsteen has a brand new album called World on Fire. Why don't we have that in the background while I thank some people who donated? Let me see. It's on fire. Oh yeah, this should be great. Huh. That's pretty good. Let's see what the next song sounds like. Oh! A little departure. All right. First of all, thank you to Adam Turetsky for saving the show. Adam Turetsky donated a computer to a guy with Tourette's. Thank you so much, Adam Turetsky. I take a sip of this fine Tecate to you. Without you, this show would have definitely died a horrible, putrid, stench-filled, Ingve sounding death. Ah! Wow. <laughs> All right, there's several ways to donate, one of them being on Patreon. Patreon.com slash RNR Geek. Like my good friend Shiaki Hinohara of the Metal Moment podcast, who is a huge Ingve fan, I believe. He donates $5 every episode. 
on Patreon. Thank you to Brian Springer for $5 every episode on Patreon as well. Thank you to my podcast mentor and co-host of Mad at Dad. $5 every episode. I don't know what people see in Ingve. I don't I guess I, maybe I don't get it. I guess he's a, a shredding guitar player. He's like blazing fast. But it's so fast that if you can't really enjoy it, it's just right? But the guy's got hardcore fans. What else has he got? Let me try something else. How about top down, foot down? Oh, much different. All right. Thank you to Matthew Hunt for donating $2 every episode on Patreon. Thank you, Robert Harvey, for $2 every episode on Patreon. And thank you to Corey Kohler for $1 every episode on Patreon. You can also donate on PayPal. There's a link at rockandrollgeek.com. Like School of Podcasting, Dave Jackson is School of Podcasting, donated ten dollars. I don't know if I can take this. Ah, fuck it. I'll just keep it going. In, in honor, in uh, out of respect to to Chiaki, I will keep the Ingve playing. Thank you to Dave Jackson, School of Podcasting, for the ten dollars. Thank you to Chris Stanley for the ten dollars. Thank you to John Boveri for the $5. Thank you to Peter Spark for the $2. Thank you to Michael Mack for the $2. Friend of mine, Michael Mack. Thank you to Keenan O'Meer. Oh, by the way, Michael Mack took me to see the Struts play acoustic at live one of, at, uh, what was it? At uh, one of the radio station studios. It's KFOG, KFOG Studios. We went to see the Struts play acoustic. He got me in. I saw them that following that same night in San Jose. It was a good show. Great, no, but good. Thank you to Keenan O'Meara for the five dollars, all the way from Australia. Thank you to Patrick Shanahan for the twenty dollars. Thanks, Patrick. It's very nice of you. I take a sip of this fine tecate to you. Ah! Thank you to Chris Harrison for the ten dollars. Thank you to Mario Zoth for the $2. Thank you to Jeff Thielalaki for the $10. All right, what else we got here? What else we got here from Ingbe? How about No Rest for the Wicked? No Rest for the Wicked! Wow. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Where was I? I lost my place. Fuck. <sighs> Paul Fonry, $10. Thanks to David Ivory for $5. Thank you to Ad- Adrian Boshan. Bosch Rock in the forums and at Rock and Roll Geek, uh, the Rock and Roll Geek Facebook page, which I don't, which I didn't start, but I do approve people who go, who go there and ask, and ask to be approved. Lots of people have been posting on there lately. I appreciate that. It's very nice to see. Thank you to Dave Franco for $10. Thank you to Greg Long for the $5. Thanks to James Venners for the $10. Thanks to G- Dean Gillespie for the ten do- or for the $5. Thank you to Richard Strom for $5. Thanks to Richard Fusey for $2. Thank you to Andrew Howe for the $5. Thank you to Dale Roller for the $5. Thanks to Jerry O'Carroll for Jerry O'Carroll for Uh-oh, I forgot what I forgot to write down what Jerry O'Carroll uh, donates. Let me see. Can I find it? Five dollars. There you go. Thank you to Jason Shepard for the ten dollars. Thank you to Christopher Del Grande for the five dollars. Thanks to Todd Cunningham, friend of the show, for ten dollars. Thanks to John Ofenlock for five dollars. Thanks to Jeffrey Canaparoli for the two dollars. Thanks to Lassie Sattvighagen. 
for the two dollars. Thank you to Stephen Mascord for the two dollars. Thanks to John Skiller for the two dollars. Thanks to Bradley Lisko for ten dollars. Thanks to friend of mine and friend of the show Ralph Miller for the ten dollars. Thanks to Michael Villoria or Vittoria for the two dollars. Is it Vittoria or Villoria? I think it's Vittoria. Thanks to Bradford Page for the two dollars. Thank you to everybody who donated. You gotta find out if it's really my. It's Vi- Michael Villoria, not Mito- Vittoria. You idiot. Let me change that before I. Uh, have some pissed off donors. Thank you to everybody who donated. Without your donations, friends, this show will die a horrible, putrid, stench-filled, shitting in your pants, stepping in dog shit, while listening to Ingve Momstein shred on the guitar, death. I take a sip of this fine Tecate to you. There you go. A little Ingve. All right, ready to do a track by track of the new Punky Meadows? Why not? Like I said, it's been getting really good reviews. Everybody who's talked about it says it's great. Every press, every press that I've read, including Eddie Trunk, said it's like such a great album. And I need to find out who sent it to me now. So stand by here. Brad Fletcher. Thank you, Brad Fletcher, for sending me the, the new Punky Meadows. I really appreciate it, friend. It is out on, is it on, is it on Main Man Records? I'm not sure what Main Man Records is. Uh, I don't think it's the same thing that, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with David Bowie, but it's a good name for a record label. I listened to the Angel interview with uh, Eddie Trunk. It was good, other than them talking over each other. Angel got back together, uh, which I gave the scoop for, because Frank Domino, when he was on my show, accidentally spilled the beans that they were going to make a surprise appearance at the Vegas Rock Awards. But uh, they were there, and while they were there, Eddie Trunk introduced them, and they did an interview. And it was it was very nice to hear them all telling stories and stuff. It sounded like they were in a, they were happy to be together. Like a, It was like a... Um, Family reunion. And I had been looking forward to, I had been kind of looking forward to the Punky Meadows album. I was kind of afraid. He, he said it sounds really modern on the first time I heard him interviewed on Eddie Trunk's show. And, I was, and I, I'm thinking, well, old people or old rockers, uh, when they say it sounds modern, that might not be a good idea. But uh, yeah, but it came out and it got great reviews. So. I was looking forward to hearing it. Now I need to pull it up here. This iTunes, new iTunes. I don't, I don't know how I, how I like it because the, 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 the uh, it doesn't. There's no track bar on it, or you know, no bar on it where you can pull the thing down. You go down, it goes way too far. So I have it's. I'm being extremely unprofessional trying to work this fucking iTunes. All right, let me put in Punky Meadows here. I got Spinning Beach Ball, of course. It, I'm so glad I'm back. It's a train wreck. <sighs> punky. Type in Punky. Come on, Punky. Why do I type in Punky and it comes up? Uh, un, it comes into the O's, into the U's. P-U-N. Okay, how's that work? All right, there's Punky Meadows. All right, Fallen Angel. There are 15 songs on the record. I think the first one is actually just an intro. So we're going to call it 14 songs. Let me get my pen here. The Rock and Roll Geek scoring system. There's 14 songs. If I like them all, I give it a plus one. If I like it, I give it a plus one. If I don't like it, I give it a zero. And if it's eh, okay, I give it a half. And then we tally them all up out of 14 and if I like all of them, it's 14 out of 14. This is the most honest and most scientific record review you will get. It's better than four stars, four out of five, or three out of five, or one out of five, or eight out of ten, or uh, four musical notes, or whatever. I think this is high, much more uh, scientific in a non-scientific way. Lots of good, lots of reviews. Let me see if I can pull up on uh, Punky's Facebook page. Here and see some of the reviews here. Let me, let me pull, let me pull Punky Meadows. P- 
Punky Meadows official fan page. All right. Because I know he posted a bunch of... It, it debuted or it charted at number six on Billboard's Heat Seeker New Artist chart. Huh. It also charted in the top 100 rock chart and number 34 on the independent artist chart. Huh. That's nice. It's good to see. It's also on the Heat Seeker. It's, uh, yeah, it's number six on the Heat Seeker climbing. I know some of these reviews here. Let's see. On the Main Man Records uh, website, this is exactly the album Punky Meadows needed to make for his fans. Just perfect. Songs and playing as good as ever. Amazing job. Punky's back from Eddie Trunk from That Metal Show and Sirius XM. From Blabbermouth, the soaring guitars and arena-sized rock sounds for which Meadows and Angel came to be known. From Z-Rocker Magazine, Meadows kills it on Fallen Angel. Wild, diverse, and unpredictable in its duration. This could very well be my favorite rock album of 2016 so far. All right, big words. This solo album is a stunning recording and it is everything that fans old and new will want to hear. We are all giving Punky a very warm welcome. That's from The Rock Report. From rockposer.com, collaborating closely with close friend Danny Farrow, we have a very generous and diverse 15 tracks that hits the bullseye of a hard rock target. Fans will not be disappointed. Punky's playing better than ever and put together one hell of a band. From uh, the Mayfair Mail Zone, or Mayfair... (laughs) The Mayfair Malzine. Never heard of these websites. This is a fresh slice of modern hard rock. An album full of timeless rock songs that will appeal to both fans old and new. All right. Well, you heard the great reviews from some very esteemed websites and critics. Let's hear it for ourselves, okay? Shall we? The first song is called Descent. Actually, this is just an intro, so I'm not going to rate this one. Descent. Similar to when Angel comes out, came out on stage, which is good to have uh, Punky do. I think Frank Domino did something similar on his album too. Take your heart and descend to earth and play it, for it is yours to bring forth sweet music, and they shall know you hereafter as. Punky Meadows. All right, that's kind of interesting, although not a song. And it goes into the price you pay. Good riff. Kind of a throwback, actually. I, I kind of like this riff. Very good. Call out all the, troops tonight. All the band consists of Punky Meadows on guitar, lead and rhythm, a guy named Danny Farrow on rhythm guitar, I don't know about this guy's voice. The guy's voice, the guy singing is named Chandler Mogul. He's from a band called Out Loud. There's a little too extravagant sounding, a little too low. I don't know, I don't like that really. It's no Frank Domino. Also in the band, Felix Robinson from Angel on bass guitar. He took uh, Mickey Jones' place. Mickey Jones was fired from the band. They talked about that on Eddie Trunk. That was very interesting.
Also in the band, Bob Pantella on drums from Monster Magnet and Charlie Calve on keyboards. He was in Shotgun Symphony. All right, let's go. Punky, the, the very first solo from Punky Meadows, other than the one he did on Frank Domino's album. All right, let me back it up a little bit. All right, here we go. Here we go! Oh, I think I can Music's great. What was it name? Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, I really like this, the music. It's got a good chorus, but the singer, his lyrics are kind of cheesy, and he's too, uh, he's just too, he's that kind of uh, grandiose type singer. He's not really grandiose, he's just, I don't know, something about him, it's just not very rock and roll sounding to me. But I'll give it a plus one because I like his solo. I'm going to give it a benefit of a doubt. But if this singer starts to grate on me, uh, there's not going to be that many plus ones. All right, next song is called Straight Shooter, which there was a music video for. I saw this before I heard, before I heard the whole album. Here we go. Straight Shooter. Straight? Straight Shooter! <laughs> Since I seen you all alone, that sounds a little like Angel. I would have liked to have heard Frank DeMito singing this. Alright, let's listen to the lyrics. Now I know that I need you like before. Hey, straight shooter! Would you come outside tonight? Come outside tonight! You looking for a ride? You make me feel alive! Hey, straight shooter! Would you love me till the end? Will you love me till the end? Don't stop until we do it all again! Don't stop till we do it all again! Cheese ball lyrics. Cheese ball. You're running free, but you walk alone. You're running free, but you're walking all alone. All right, let me back that up. I'm going to analyze this, I'm going to deconstruct this verse here. Uh, okay. You're running free, but you walk alone. You're running free, but you walk alone, straight shooter. You like to gamble with your life. You like to gamble with your life and always something something. And anytime I want to let it go. Anytime I want to let it go. No, you're the girl with that smile you would always show. You're the girl with that smile that always showed or something like that. And now I know. Now I know. That I need you like before. I need you like I did before. Hey, straight, hey shooter. straight shooter, come out tonight, come outside, take me for a ride because I don't know how to drive, make me feel alive straight shooter, love me till the end, we're not going to stop till we do it all again straight shooter, take it away punky, oh it's not punky yet, sorry. All right, that one's kind of cheesy. I'll give it a half. All right, next song is called Breathless and Jaded. I like 
Oh, that's classic Angel. Music's fucking great, man. Took your fingers for a walk Dialed my number, heard you talk I didn't know you when you called Now your picture's on my wall You're breathless and jaded You're killing my hopes to make it aid. You're breathless and jaded Music's great! The song's great. This guy's voice, I don't know. This uh, this his voice doesn't really annoy me on this one. Your pictures off the wall. The music is so good that I have to give it a plus one, even in spite of the vocals. This is the kind of song I'd be happy to hear from Punky. Wish he had a different singer. This should have been the first song that they put out there for people, I think. Not straight shooting. I play your game. This guy doesn't write great lyrics. Next song is called Loaded Gun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I give that one a plus one. Okay. Uh, this is a little generic, generic hard rock sounding, this one. Moving like a hurricane, storm out, hallelujah. No hurt cause I feel no pain, yeah, my fist is up, I'm a fighter. My fist is up, I'm a fighter, man. Got a chorus. No turning around. Shot down. You can be the only one. Again, I'd say the vocals don't suck that bad. It's just lyrics are kind of just dumb. Uh, this one, I'm going to give this one a half. I move fast like a sharp blade. I'm going to see if I can get this to a solo. You can be the only one to turn it around. Put my life on the line I know my mind is clear I don't mind I do just one last thing To ground my life Oh yeah Good solo I don't like the riff underneath it All right, Punky sounds great. I'll give that one a half. Not crazy about that one. All right, next song is called Lost and Lonely. Can I? Can there be a more generic title than Lost and Lonely? Uh, probably so, but not much more generic. Lost and Lonely. All right, All right more a little angel sound. Just want to stray from your misery No, no one can hold you down Cause yeah. finally- 
guess the rhymes all over this one. Not going to hang around. Don't want to hold you down. In your heart's like a mystery. I'm done wasting time. I'm not losing my mind. I'm done wasting time, not losing my mind. All right, let's see if we can, the next verse will try to guess the rhyme. We're playing round. Uh, it's time for a round of Guess the Rhyme on the Rock and Roll Geek Show. All right. All right, decent enough chorus. Tonight you'll be lost in That's a good chorus, actually. Alright, alright, here comes the verse. Let's see if we can guess the next rhyme, okay? Let me see, hear the first. The way the game works is you hear the first line and you try to guess what the rhyme word is going to be, okay? Alright, we're back it up, back it up. But tonight you'll be lost and lonely. I fell for a girl with pride. Uh, hide the word. It, the rhyme could be hide, or it could be inside. I th- I'm going to guess inside. I fell for you when you had sympathy. I fell for you when you had sympathy. Okay, no rhyme. There you go. <laughs> I lost. I'm done hearing all your lies. Oh, there you go. That's the rhyme. I'm done hearing all your lies. When we when we have a rhyme for sympathy. Uh, misery? Cause baby is a heartbeat. Heartbeat. Well, I lost. I, there goes my theory. <laughs> All right. I'm done wasting time. I'm not losing my mind. That was... Quite possibly the worst round of Guess the Rhyme of all time. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Oh, if Punky Meadows happened to be listening to this, he would think I am a moron, and he would be right. I'm singing along. Take it away, Punky. Punky's a ripping guitar player. Yeah, go, man! Hey, even if the singer is cheesy and has crappy lyrics, isn't it great to have a new Punky Meadows record? Who would have ever thought, five years ago, who would have ever thought that that would happen? So if there's a new Punky Meadows and a new Frank Domino... Life can't be that bad, friends. But tonight, you're an angel fan. And lonely. Tonight you'll be lost. And lonely. You won't swim my own way. All right. All right. This is for the guy from Atlanta. Tonight you'll be lost. And lonely. How about that? <laughs> tonight you'll be lost. And lonely. It's you I was holding. All right, catchy song. I'm going to give it a half. Half. I don't know. The lyrics are dumb. The singer's not great. It, it, could, it could very well be a one, but I'm giving it a half, okay? So, so far out of five songs, we are one, two, three, three and a half out of five. That's not bad. All right, next song is called Home Wrecker. Home Wrecker. A right, little building of the keyboards. The brand new song from Punky Meadows, formerly of Angel, Home Record, with lead singer Chandler Mogul from Out Loud. And the drummer from Monster Magnet. Yeah. yeah. Little journey ass. Little home record, baby. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I got to hear this guy's vocals on this. All right, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Little home wrecker, baby. Little home wrecker, baby. I like it. Ha ha! 
Wow. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I just, sorry. I gotta hear it again. Oh, I gotta hear that again. The home record, baby. Yeah. 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 Little home wrecker, baby. But I like it. Ha ha! Here we go! Here we go! This one's for all you home wreckers out there. We got the home wreckers out in the crowd tonight. Yeah! All right, all right yeah. Well, I got a good voice. It just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really fit with this music to me. You're a too. He seems kind of like a lounge singer to me. Like a rock lounge singer. Alright, comes the chorus. Good chorus! Crappy lyrics, but a catchy chorus. Not crazy about the verse. You're a shady kind of lady. It could actually fit in on a Paul Stanley solo album, too. Oh, oh, oh. That you're proud of it, too. Oh, oh, oh. You got the I like how the chorus goes into a completely different key. I like that. Alright, I'm gonna give this one a plus one. So many I don't know why, but I'm gonna give it a plus one. There's something something charmingly cheesy about that song. Alright, the next song is called I Wanna Be Your Drug. That's total 70s throwback. Good so far. I'm like a medication for romance, girl, I'll get you. See, the music is fucking great. Catchy as hell. Then when the vocals come in, it just kind of kills it, doesn't it? Just listen. I can't be the only one of these reviewer guys thinking this, right? Are they afraid to say something? Great songs. This is total 70s. The singer just doesn't fit. He doesn't fit. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I say he doesn't fit, then I say I like it. I'm gonna make you happy tonight. I wanna be your drug, be your drug tonight. Ooh, Catchy choruses. Catchy choruses, cheesy lyrics, and not fitting vocals. But it's good. I mean, I'm singing along immediately. I'm gonna make you happy tonight. I mean, look, you're singing along all right. When you when it gets to the chorus, you're singing along. I've gotta have you and I can't let go. I'm gonna make you love me tonight. That could definitely fit on sinful. I wanna be your drug. Be 
Medicate me, sedate me. Medicate me, sedate me now. Sedate me now. Medicate me. So bouncy chorus. I'm gonna make you love me tonight. I wanna be your drug, be your drug tonight. How can I not give that one a plus one? It's cheesy, but it's fun. I like it. Maybe I'm starting to come around. For the new punky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next song, I'm gonna give that one a plus one. Next song is called Leaving Tonight. Let's get those lighters up in the air. My name is Chandler Mogul from Out Loud, and I am the new singer. What if I'm wrong? This is one I for the ladies. I try to be right. What if I leave me? Would you still be the shine in my life? I'll be alright. Yeah, I'll be strong. I'll be alright when you but leave. I'll be strong, but I'm leaving, not you. Tonight. I'm leaving tonight, baby. Me yeah, and the boys I'll are going right. on tour. I'll get by. I'll get by. But I'm leaving. But I'm leaving, bitch. Tonight. Tonight on that southbound train. Take it away, Charlie Calv on keyboards from the band Shotgun Symphony. Take it. Take it, punky. There's so much I need. I've given you all that I've got Giving you all that I've got, baby And now my heart bleeds My heart is bleeding Cause you still need it more than my love You need it more than my love You needed the guys in Kicks And the guys in Shotgun Symphony Not Shotgun Symphony, who's a uh, glam band? Hair metal bed out of poison. Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright though, yeah, baby. I'm gonna be strong because I'm leaving tonight with the boys. Heading on the bus or the van tonight. Heading up to New York City to play BB King. Take it away, punky. Show her what she's gonna miss, Punky. Oh, I'm shutting up. Ripping guitar player. I'll be alright, right, baby. I'll be I will be strong. You might be giving hand jobs to the roadie from Accept to get backstage, but I'm going on the road with Punky Meadows and band <laughs> in support of our new album, Fallen Angel. And if I find that motherfucker on the Rock and Roll Geek Show, he's going to be leaving tonight if you get my drift. He's heading to the moon. All right. <laughs> Punky sounds fucking amazing. Punky's great. Not 
not coming home tonight, baby. I'm gone. Take it away, Punky. Guy rips. The guy's a ripper. Did I just say the guy's a ripper? Yes, I did. I'm just as cheesy as, as uh, Chandler Mogul from Out Loud. That's a great solo. The solo almost makes me want to give this song a plus one. All long solo, man, it sounds good. You got a great tone too. Shit, do I have to get I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to raise it to a plus one. Solely based on that solo. All right, next song is called Searchin'. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Music sounds good. Day after day. The vocals suck. Keep searching for someone. Maybe there's someone. Maybe there's hope left for love. Poor guy can't find love. He's searching every day. Night after night. Searching every night. I keep dreaming of somewhere. Oh, he dreams. Maybe He's dreaming of love. Somewhere there's someone to love. Poor guy. Catchy songs. I don't know if this guy's writing the melodies and lyrics. Melodies are good. Damn, those lyrics suck. Find her heart. Find her heart. All right, these vocals suck, the lyrics suck, but the music is fairly catchy on this song. Let it go one more chorus. I'm giving this one a half, at best. Maybe there's someone, there's gotta be someone to love. All right, I can't take any more of that one. That's, that's very, giving a half on that one is being generous. Next song is called Something Strange. It's not great. So baby, don't cry. Baby, don't cry. I like the answer back. Baby, don't cry. Baby, don't cry. Baby, don't cry. Baby, don't cry. I'll help you by if you're out of luck. I'll be the guy if you need some. On the 
album cover, which I don't have, but I'm looking at the album cover online. Punky is, it's got a, um, it's a, some lightning in the background. He's kneeling, he's, it's a picture of Punky kneeling down, and the Stratocaster is on the ground, on the, the rocks. And he's got big angel wings behind him. And there's a city, it's kind of, looks a little like Kiss Destroyer album, a little bit. Oh, it was, oh, let me, let me hear that. The solo sounds like it's pretty good. Think of something strange. That sounds familiar. I like the double guitar. All right, I'm giving that one a half. It's, it's all right. I do like that the double guitar part. The next song is called Shadow Man. Hand claps. I like the ow. Just can't get enough. This is not the right singer for Punky. I'm sorry, Punky. It's not your. This guy's not right for your band. I'm sorry. No offense to you, Chandler, Chandler Mogul. You're not the right guy for Punky Meadows. He's in enough song. The vocals kill it. I'm sorry. Somebody else review, some other reviewers, say it, somebody say it. I'm your they, they won't listen to me. Am I being negative? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I, I mean, I, I really want the best for Punky Meadows. I'm a huge fan. That's why, I, that's why I'm probably more of an Angel fan and more of a Punky Meadows fan because I'm, as a true fan, you should not just tell every, when you're, when your heroes do something that has a flaw in it, you should tell your heroes what you don't like. You should not just say, oh, it's great. It's the greatest thing ever. If there's something wrong with it, as a huge super fan, you're going to tell them what you don't like about it. Is that wrong? Always want you to <sighs> it probably is. I'm sorry. I take it all back. It's fantastic. Shadow, I'm your shadow man. Yes, I am. All right. All right. Yes, I am. All right. Moving to the next one. I'll give that one a half. Shake, shake is the next song. Shake, shake. Come on, let's party. Come on, let's party. Did he just? Did he just say that? Did he just say, come on, let's party? <laughs> yeah, let's party. He just said, let's party. Chandler Mogul said, let's party. So let's... Take out our Tecates.
right, that one's a zero. I got. I don't. That's not good. All right. Next song is called "Summertime Love." I like this so far. Worn out electrified. And as soon as that vocal comes in, I mean, seriously, does that vocal kill a good song? <laughs> I'm getting bummed out now. <laughs> Listen, this sounds great. This sounds nice and pleasant. Sounds fucking killer. Then here it comes. Worn out electrified. It's a boner killer, man. Tired. Tired. It's too much to justify, but I'm trying. Uh, I fall down mesmerized. I don't know. Does he did he did he audition guys? Did somebody recommend this guy? But then sometimes, but if but his melodies are good, if these if the guy wrote the melodies, then the, then the guy is salvageable. He can be coached to be good. If he's writing these melodies, the guy has a sense of melody. You just gotta coach the guy to stop singing like that. Just be normal. And write him some lyrics that don't rhyme like that. I go out and take what's mine. All right, all right, all right, yeah. It's too much to justify, but I'm trying. Cause I feel it coming on. See, that chorus is good. Summertime, summertime, love. Yeah, feel it. Not lyrically, but melody it is. Summertime, summertime, love. Cause I feel it coming on. Summertime, summertime. Great solo. Actually, better than great solo. Fantastic solo. I feel so hot again. All right, I'm giving that one a half. Solo almost brings it up, but the chorus, this song's not that great except for the chorus. All right, the last song is called Fallen Angel. I think this might be an instru- this might be an instrumental. Now, this sounds great. Maybe we should have... See, what I would have liked to have heard Punky do is get guest vocalists to do different... All the songs, having someone else sing every song. And I heard that Frank Domino told me he was singing on this album. Did they just change their mind? Wouldn't it have been cool to have Paul Stanley sing a song, Frank Domino sing a song... Maybe the great Michael E. Smith from Stars. That would have been, that would, I would have liked that a lot more. That being said, this instrumental is good. Well, I hope you like this track by track of the new Punky Meadows album, Fallen Angel. 
I got a lot of audio comments. Should I save the... I think I'm going to save the audio comments. We got a lot of ACDC comments. Oh, Jonathan Travers is back. I think I'm going to try to do a midweek show, actually. Get the, get the Play some audio comments. More new music to play that I'm excited to, to play for you. We'll wrap that up here, though. I hope you enjoy this Punky Meadows track by track. New album is called Fallen Angel. Oh, I didn't do the... I, hold on. Hold on. Hold on here. I got to do the tally it up. Ugh. Okay. Out of... Let's see. I'll, I'll let it play while we're tallying it up. How about that? We got one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, eight and a half out of 14. That's not bad. Oh, I didn't, wait a minute, I didn't give this, oh, I give this one a plus one. All right, let me count that again. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half out of 14. Not a bad review. If you agree with my review of the Punky Meadows album, let me back it up here. But back it up. Oh, okay, fine. Send me an email with the subject line, Butler, you are absolutely correct about Punky Meadows and his new singer. And if you disagree, send me an email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com with the subject line, Butler, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That new singer's great. Eddie Trunk is great. Eddie Trunk is right. You're wrong. Now quit your show. Make that in the subject line. All right. New Punky Meadows, nine and a half out of 14. If you like that, go buy it. It's worth buying. The music is great. And how great is it to have a Punky Meadows album? All right. I'm going to close out now with one more song. What do I want to play here? I got some stuff in the, in the playlist. I'm going to close out with, um, since we've been doing like grandiose over the top music and vocalists tonight, I think I'm going to play something from, a guy named Jorn, who is a Norwegian me heavy metal singer, and he claims to be the, the legendary, self-proclaimed voice of rock. He put out an album of covers. I knew nothing about this guy, but apparently he's been around a while, and he's legendary, according to uh, some of these people that have been reading, I've been researching the guy. He's been around a while, and he, and he recorded a covers album. Apparently, he's been around so long that he just uh, he can do anything he wants, and apparently, he's a legend in uh, wherever Norwegia is. What is Norwegia? Or is he Nordic? So Somewhere over there. He's, he's, from, he's from out in the snow country. He's got an album of covers, and it, it's, it's kind of, they're cheesy, but they're kind of, kind of interesting, and I kind of like them. Here he is playing a Journey song. This is called, well, you'll know the song. Thank you for tuning in, friends. Send me an email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. You can call in the show. Hurry up and do it, and I'll, get your, and I'll play your audio comment on the midweek show that I'm going to do. Area code 706-621-ROCK. That's area code 706-621-7625. Or you can send me an email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. You can find me on the Facebook, friends, r and r Geek. You can find me on the Twitter, r and r Geek. You can find me on the Instagram, Rock and Roll Geek, Don't Ask. Uh, and you can also listen to Mad at Dad, the show I do with, with um, my podcast mentor, Dave Slusher. We're coming up on episode 700. We are coming up on episode 700, friends. You and me. 700 episodes. If you've been around for all 700, I don't know why, but I cannot thank you enough. So, um... Be a good time to make some more donate. Some higher donations would be great. Adam Curry and, and John Dvorak, they do donations, and they those guys guilt people into they they say these donations have been at an all time low, and if you don't donate, we're not going to do the show anymore. You're going to kill the show by no donations. I'm not going to threaten you like that, friends. But if you want to make some higher donations in um, in honor of episode 700, it would be very much appreciated, friends. All right, here is Jorn. What's his last name? Jorn Lande, but he just calls himself Jorn. Maybe it's Jorn. It's probably Jorn, right? Yeah, it's probably Jorn. This song is called, oh, you'll hear it. Doing a Journey song, the album's called Heavy Rock Radio. We'll talk to you 
this week or next week, friends. Thanks for listening. It's a rock and roll geek train wreck.